from the time that you walk into a one-stop or a workforce office, you should identify yourself as a veteran. That's the first step. Once you identify yourself as a veteran, um, the veteran what representative will come out and assist you, um, go over the assessment, go over um, what choices you have, benefits, services, other points of contact. We partner a lot with other organ veteran-based organizations. Because it's really a, a skill set. And I think in the military, uh, it's, in, it's reinforced that you go through a very particular process to get to an end result. And really the same is true in medicine, um, especially with the technical roles like a nurse or a, uh, a medical assistant, in that they have to go through a series of tasks to get to a desired end result so that that physician can then um, come and treat the patient in an appropriate fashion. Any connections you can make are helpful. Provide workforce. They have a lot of resources. Obviously, they're a big company, and they're able to, you know, guide you in the direction that it seems is the best fit. I was thinking about uh, the the requirement it takes to be in the military and the requirements it takes to be a good medical assistant. And I think what Randy's background did for him, having experience in the military, was bring those succinct skill sets to how you um, go through the processes of supporting a patient and getting him ready to s him or her ready to see the physician. And so understanding the veteran, the whole individual concept, understanding that person and knowing what they, you know where they want to go, what they want to do, then we redirect them or we may be able to provide the services right there. There's wonderful positive skills that the military members bring. One of those is attention to detail. I think one of the hard work because I think if you start to look at what your hour, dollar per hour is for military member, it comes up like a buck fifty or something because you're used to working from, you know, six in the morning until maybe ten at night or, or longer. So I think that dedication, I think the attention to detail and commitment because all those of us who are in the military, we were there for a reason and I think that continues to translate when you're out in the civilian world as well. So there's jobs for everyone in the civilian sector. You just have to find where your niche is and go after it. What's your goal?